It makes a nice satisfying, satisfying. thunk. I'm here at the Mini Maker Fair at Fell Club XL in Los Angeles, California, and we're going to look at a giant Atari 2600 joystick that you can actually use to play Atari 2600 games. It was created by Jason Torchinsky as part of an art gallery opening that was showing off art that was inspired by the Atari 2600. This is the original joystick, classic design. Jason used this as the basis for this one. What's the scale? Have you figured out what? It's 15 times. 15 times. And, and what's the, the pivot point on this? A golf ball, which works really well. They're very yeah. tough. <laughs> what was the most challenging part of this? Since the stick self-centers, you push it one way and it pops back to the center. Uh -huh. That was a little tricky to do because it's heavy and mm -hmm. this casing's heavy. I don't know if you want to look under the hood yeah. here. You'll notice on each corner is a small bungee cord that keeps it centered up. And then you can see where the wires go to make the contact on the metal plates. Uh -huh. It's not complicated and it's certainly not delicate. I would like to see somebody try this out. I used to love this game. Uh -huh. Yeah. It really works. It does work. Cumbersome, but yeah. it's a lot of fun. That's so cool. Yeah, just taking normal things, making them big somehow makes them engaging again. Yeah, definitely. It's meant to be climbed on, it's meant to be yeah. played with, just like the real thing. Sure. Red Tank, tell me a few of the things you associate with your mother. I remember that she was always very beautiful, but sad. How does that make you feel? Does that make you feel like hurling bullets out of a tank? Oh, I see. So this is a... This is therapy. This oh. is Atari therapy. Come on out. It's okay to be safe here. It's, but you're throwing things at me. Pay no attention to the flying bullets. Oh. I remember I used to play this game when I was four. My father, he was a very angry man. And he would always be the blue tank. Because he said the red tank was for sissies. And he would always make me play the red tank every time. That's right. Now level up and uh, turn the tank around a few times. And, and tell me how this makes you feel when you try to connect intimately with people in your adult life. Well, I feel like there are a lot of barricades to my relating to other people in my workplace. Like cubicles. And it's almost like they're hurling little projectiles at you at high speed. They give me lots of complaints. I'm always turned around and facing the wrong way. In life, there are no scores, there are no winners, there are no losers. But you're up four to three. Life is about eight simple bits, Red Tank. Eight bits. If you or someone you love is suffering from projectile dysfunction, seek the help you need from a licensed Atari therapist. <laughs>